In this video, we look at another super useful Bloomberg function, the Data Field Finder, or FLDS for short. Thanks to this function, we can put together Bloomberg formulas in such a way that we can automatically download data from the terminal into our Excel spreadsheet. If you don't know how to put together Bloomberg formulas, just follow this video that I'm putting in the impression now. And if you want to learn how to use FLDS, just keep watching. As always, very first thing to do, go to the top left corner and type the shortcut for the function. In this case, FLDS. This will take you to the main view for this function, where at the top we can specify the name of the company we're interested in, and in the enter query box, we can specify the data field that we want to pull. At the top is the control area. Once we have specified the query, the results will be displayed in the results window. For this example, let's say that I'm interested in Apple. So I'm typing AAPL US equity, and then in the search query box, I'm typing domicile. After hitting enter, a series of relevant information will be presented to us. For example, we know that the country of domicile is US, the city is Cupertino, and the state is California. What you really want to pay attention to is the second column from the left, the mnemonic column, because that is where all the code you need are presented. And this code, you will need to put them into your Bloomberg formulas. If you don't know how to put together Bloomberg formulas in an Excel spreadsheet, follow this video that I'm showing now. In that video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Excel spreadsheet so that you can download data automatically from the terminal directly into Excel. Let's look now at another type of financial data that we might be interested in. For example, let's say that we're interested in dividends. I'm typing then the dividend because I want to know the dividend yield. Then this information will be the third from the top, dividend indicated yield for a value of 0.72% or 72 basis points. If I want to have more information on this type of data, I just have to click on it and then I have an expanded description of the data. For example, here I get to know that the dividend indicated yield provides the most recently announced dividend amount, that that is annualized and divided by the current market share price. I'm going to show you now um, a very useful trick that you can apply. Just put your terminal window on the left and open an Excel spreadsheet. This is a little trick to um, find immediately what is the Bloomberg formula that you need for any data that you're interested in. Go to your terminal and click on the value and then just drag it to your Excel spreadsheet like I'm doing now. If you do that after a couple of seconds, then the API will pull the information for you in Excel and you get to know what is exactly the syntax that you have to use. At the beginning, this type of trick is very useful as you learn how to put together Bloomberg APIs. But then this will all become easier and easier as you do it. And you'll be able to have very nice set up Excel spreadsheets, pulling all the data that you need. I hope that you found this video useful. If that's the case, give it a thumbs up and share it with people who might find it interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe as I'm going to put more of this relevant material for you in the next coming weeks. Thank you for watching and see you soon.